as you can see in this video, oops, my glove, is obviously I call it sand, it's sediments. So this has all come from his, I believe, his kidneys because there's that much of it. It's all in the night bag as well. Um, it breaks down quite easily, look, I think. Mm. Say that, but I know it does normally. But his has been really, really thick, but he did have 10 um, left kidney stones. So they were quite big. Um, he also had one bladder stone, which I actually got out through massage. In the end, hospitals were useless. Um, as you can see, that's going through, look. See how it breaks down really quick. That's why you can grab it from, you know, and give it that pinch and, um, and technique that I do, but make sure you don't pull that. So you push it up like that and then, and this is for carers, healthcare assistants, because um, a lot of nurses and everybody just pulls the, the, the super pubics out of people um, and they don't realise when they're undressing them. So yeah, always push it up, give it a squeeze and we're releasing all that crap. Look, here it goes, it will go. So what I've been doing to do this, it's all right, Ben's having his exercises. I don't know whether you can see that movement there on his legs is that helps the muscle tone back in the legs. I, I, I done a video a couple of years ago uh, regarding this on on his first, yeah, on his the first birthday during COVID on our own. So um, it's brought the muscles back into the legs and I've got rid of spasticity through that. So if you've seen them come up and down, that's why. So this part here, so bring that part up and you can squeeze it like this. So it's not going to harm it. It's not going to go back flowing because it's it's kind of it does get stuck in that position sometimes. And then go to the top there and give it a really, really, really good squeezing. And you'll see it will come out. Look, there you go. It will all come through. So don't worry. As long as you push that up and not pull down and do it like this. Do it like this to make it easier for yourself, but not just for yourself, uh, for your client, because otherwise, if you do it like that, you will pull the balloon, which is in situ inside, so we don't want that. So then you can start giving it a little pinch up here if you want. I don't need to go right down to the stoma because as soon as Ben starts drinking, um, this will flush through. So what I did overnight was I rubbed and massaged my oils, which I make, which are these ones here. And all that is, so it's even the same colour, kind of like in the night bag. I can't show you it. But, well, yeah, I can't show you it. But the night bag's that kind of like that looking colour. And that is just uh, pure dandelion oil and um, lemon balm. I make it myself. Everyone, anyone can make it. It's really easy. And it helps with spasms as well, to be fair. So, but this is what's helped to relieve the oil is what's helped it get out of the, um, the not urethra, because he had one in there. It could have got the urethra one. I'm not really 100% sure on that one, but I definitely got the bladder stone out. Um, so, I reckon this is the remaining out of the kidneys right now. But like I said, that does work. The oil, um, it just somehow penetrates the skin. It's all natural. It penetrates the skin. I massage it there and I massage it around that kidney. And it just seems to bring all this out. And I normally do it for about two days because I don't have to do it every day like it was before. Um, and now it's brilliant. Because look at that. It's all passing through. So you can see, yeah, it's the oil. I'll, I'll try and do one a day of these videos because the oils work um, on spinal injuries, on leg spasms, on bladder spasms and on everything else. Um, but block catheters as usual, here we go, here we go again, I'm going to say, but it's not blocked. We've just got the sediments coming out from uh, the massaging. 